Hey guys, it's Julia and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I will be trying on and reviewing three Reformation jeans to compare the sizing and the fit. Reformation recently brought back the Don't Call Me Cute collection that was designed for ladies that are 5'4 and under. And because I'm exactly 5'4, I'm really curious to see how they fit. So I did go to the store on Melrose in LA to pick up some jeans for this video, but unfortunately they didn't have the styles that I wanted in stock, so I purchased online. And this is what the package looks like. It's made of 100% recyclable material, um, and it has Reformation branding on it. So let's open it up. Oh cool. So it comes in individually packaged on each jean. There's three of them, some branding. Then it also comes with an invoice. The two jean styles that I got were the high cigarette in the color Baltic and the seam jean in Caribbean. Usually I'm a size 25 in jeans, so I did order the 25 regular and 25 petite. However, for the seam jean in Caribbean, they didn't have the petite sizing in stock, so I just got the 25. Okay, so let's open up the first one. So none of the Reformation packaging comes with any plastic, which is really nice. The company is really eco-friendly and sustainable, which is something that I really like with the, with the company. This is the Seam Jean in Caribbean size 25. It is a classic high-rise cigarette jean uh, made of repurposed denim, and it has some seam detailing both on the front here and on the back. And then on the bottom, it's a raw edge cut right here. And also I wanna point out that Reformation has its own branding in the buttons too. Open the next one. So this one is the high cigarette jean in size 25 petite. So this one is a little bit of a darker wash and it's just a more classic cigarette style. Has some distressing on the on the pockets here, but overall it's straight leg, has some whisker detailing here. So let's open up the next one, which should be the cigarette jean in size 25 regular. Same exact jean that I just showed, just in the size 25 regular. So I wanted to lay all three jeans out for you to just compare them and see if there's any differences. The same jean is more of a cropped length with a raw and finished hem. And comparing the length of the other two jeans, you could see that the petite cigarette jean is about four inches shorter. Now comparing the waist size, the regular and petite cigarette measure about the same width, but the seam jean does look a tiny bit shorter. Now that we've compared the jeans side by side, let's try it on and see how they fit. So here is the seam jean in size 25. Again, I'm exactly a 5'4 and usually a true 25, but as you can see, the pant length is not cropped on me at all. It is also a little bit looser on my hips and my butt. I do really love the design of these jeans. I think that the seam detailing adds a nice touch to the classic style. I'm definitely going to keep my eye out for if and when Reformation makes a petite version. Moving on to the cigarette jean in size 25, these jeans do not fit well. The product photo on the website for these jeans are fitted and cut right above the ankle, but these are way too long. I try to cuff them to see if I can make it work, and honestly, the jeans don't look that bad. Even though they are a little bit loose, they're still comfortable and would go well with a lot of outfits. When I picked out the style online, I wasn't looking for a cuffed jean, so I'm definitely going to pass on these. Let's see how the petite size compares. Okay, this is definitely matching the photos from the website and what I was expecting. These jeans are form-fitting, cropped right above my ankle, and high-waisted. It's made from a non-stretch denim from surplus fabric, so there isn't any stretch in the jean, but gives just enough where it's comfortable to sit and walk around in. For those of you that are wondering what a cigarette jean is, they're basically slim-fit jeans that aren't tapered at the ankle like skinny jeans are. A correct-fitting cigarette jean is not supposed to have any bunching at the ankles to create a more gradual transition to your shoes, which elongates your legs and makes you look taller and leaner. These jeans go well with just about anything. You can wear it with ankle boots, sneakers, or strappy heels like I did. For top options, you can pair it with crop tops, t-shirts tied in a knot, or bodysuits. I decided to style this jean with a popular summer trend of an off-shoulder striped button-down top that I got from Saks Off Fifth. 
I'll list all my outfit details below with links to the jeans featured in this video as well as alternative options for you guys. I do want to mention that Reformation has a 14 day return policy, but you have to make sure that you leave the tag on it or else they won't accept it. Also, if you order online, you have to ship it back with a return label that you can generate through your login because you can't return online purchases in store. Other than that, I had a really fun time filming this video and glad I was able to share my experience with you. I hope that you find this video helpful when selecting the size of denim that you're interested in. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you have any recommendations on what I should try on next, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Bye!